out of everything you've heard, this is the last word. What up? It's your boy Bill Colignon, and I got some more news for you. Um, it may not be new news. Well, some of it may not be new. Uh, but I have one that maybe you may not have heard of, but, uh, you know, we, that we're going to debate on that you may have heard of, but you may not. But, uh, but I'm going to start it off like this. Uh, Big Tigger had recently announced that, uh, Rap City in the Basement will be returning. I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year, but it will be returning. And, uh, you know, that's a... That's a plus for me um, because uh, I used to watch that back in the day, like mad. You know what I mean? That's where a little place where mostly all the rappers got to show up. You know what I mean? Hit that freestyle and, you know what I'm saying, show what they worth. You know, if they couldn't do it, that was the way to find out. Um, you know, um, it's a lot of uh, youngins out there. That's just gonna need this, you know. This is gonna be worth their while. They're gonna love this show. Um, because just for the simple fact, they're gonna really learn who their artists are. You know what I mean? It's gonna be one of their number one shows, trust and believe. I mean, people gonna be actually leaving the streets just to watch this, like we used to back in the day. So, you know, that's good news to me. You know what I'm saying? Salute the big ticket. You know what I mean? Keep it up. Don't let nothing happen this time. See if we can go another seven. You know, if we can't go another seven, you know, five years is cool. Really, we want to push that 10, you know. It don't really have to be big ticket. Big ticket could pass the torch, uh, you know, so far later on in the years. But once this catch on, <laughs> it's not going to slow up. But yeah, that's my take on that. Um, yeah, um, that's what's up. That's a good plan for Big Tech. You know what I mean? I got to give him that pops. And, um, you know, it's a lot of things moving and shaking around here. Not really a lot, a little something. But, uh, <clears throat> I know y'all heard the little stuff about Trick Daddy and the stuff he been on lately. Um, you know, about them, about him and Trina getting kicked off the show. Now, it's some things with that. You know, um, Trick Daddy has been real controversial these past couple of months. Real outspoken. And uh, he been letting people know <laughs> what a T.I. is, whether you like it or not. But we know where that gets you. Um, and what I feel of him and Trina losing the show, it has a lot to do with uh, what he said about Beyonce and who Jay-Z is. Come on, man. Arms reach. I understand. Um, they're going to write in that it was about something else. Or the show took its demise on another type of plateau. But let's keep it 100. We know what happened. He's low-key under the radar black ball. You know, they want to stop any successful move that this man can make. Uh, hey, that's just how it go. Because just for the simple fact is you got to watch your mouth. Hey, if you're spilling that truth. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know. Hey. Like he said, his mama taught Beyonce. I don't know if that's true or not. Hey, don't get me to lie. But all I know is that's got a lot to do with it. You know, it's just been real controversial. You know, like the eating the booty situation. You know, I'm confused with that because, you know, I don't like it either way. But I'm kind of confused of where he He's getting that sometimes. At first, it was leading to females licking the booty. But now when I be hearing him in certain um certain um outlets, it's like he be eating the booty too. So which one is it? Is the female or is it you or is it both? You know, that's that's what I'm trying to get at, goddammit. You know, hey, you do what you do. You know what I mean? It's your life. It's your tongue. 
nasty shit, that's you. You do what you do. And the people that you deal with, they do what they do. That's some nasty shit. Booby licking motherfuckers. Anyway, I ain't gonna keep talking about that. I ain't gonna even really go on with that. Get on with that. You know, um, um, Ashanti, I'm pretty sure y'all heard that. She recently, uh, obtained her, um, her master's, something that a lot of people hasn't done yet. Some people are doing it. It's a thing now, but it's a lot of people, even from back in the day, that still haven't got their master's, so... Yeah, that's 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 one of those. It's, it's kind of crazy because um, I don't know, man. Um, I believe everybody should have their music obtained because you know after you dead and gone, these record labels ain't gonna look out for your family. Um, they're only gonna push your music and make more money off of it after you're gone, and then your mo- your your uh, siblings won't even see a cut of that, you know. So to cut that middleman out, which is a smart thing everybody is doing, is to just go ahead and get your masters. It's a, I advise really basically a lot of the older, because um, it's a lot of uh, movies that's been coming out that that they, they've been using some of the older songs out there, you know, from some of the older, you know, R&B stars and, you know, some of the rock stars also. Excuse me for that, you know, it's just, you know, hey, I live on the main street, somewhat. And that's why you hear a lot of rock, you're going to hear a lot of that. But, um, but anyway, back to what I was saying, you know, you... It's, it's a sweet thing to do because I know, you know, I do music too. And, and that's be, that would be one of my goals to do is to obtain my masters. Because for the simple fact, I'm not going to sit there and just let somebody else eat off of me while I'm gone, you know, or eat off of me while I'm here. And I can't even get, you know, I have to go through court. And so, you know, it's just, you know, the whole process of all that uh, litigation stuff and ain't nobody on that. But real talk, let me kill that fly. But real talk, um, smooth move on Ashante and she's dropping, um, you know, some remastered stuff of her old work, you know, just so everybody could get a feel for it. You know, she could do that. You know, she's her own boss now, so she's going to deliver that to you. And possibly, you know, we might get a new album from her. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, but I do know this. Smooth move and salute to you, baby girl. You know, you know, I love seeing that. Love seeing that. As long as you ain't sitting back thinking of what it, what could happen. You get that out the way now, and now we know what is happening. So um, that's good, too. Speaking on people coming up and doing big things and, you know, and just capitalizing. Um, Yo Gotti. Now, you know Yo Gotti uh, is about to drop an album. You know, if it's not already out. But uh, he's going to be releasing the album. Not only is he releasing the album, your boy went on and uh, became part owner of his own soccer team. Now, that's what's up. Put your money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? You claim you're a big baller. It's more than just chains and expensive watches. You know, you got to really show and prove. What's really yours? Because sometimes them chains and watches are really washy because some of those are rentals. But uh, he did that. It's uh, and the name of that soccer team is um, that is DC United. You know, 
He even got an iced out chain to go with it. So, you know, look out for your boy if you're into that soccer. But uh, that's just a smooth move. Whether it's baseball, basketball, part ownership, as long as you put your money where, you, you know, you can really see it, invest, you know, and, and get something back from it. Not just going out and seeing no return. Can't have that. So that's a smooth on you, on you Gotti. So everybody coming up this year, making a, um, you know, being on the up and up. Um, making big moves, and that's what's up. So, golly, that's good. So, all right. Now, a salute to you, nigga. You know what I'm saying, Gotti? You know what I'm saying? Smooth move. I might I might watch a game, too. I don't know. I don't really watch uh, soccer, but I'm going to check it out and see what's going on just for you, nigga. And then, um, um, you know, hey, I'm pretty sure y'all heard about the NBA young boy, how he um, he released an album from prison, and it becomes number one. Now, he's not the only one that did this. Now, um, Tupac um, and Lil Wayne did it also with number one album. So he joins that little group, which is a small group. Ain't too many people gonna do that because... Uh, it's got to be real hot for people to even look out for it just because you locked up. Or you just got super fans. So that's what it is with that. Um, and um, he moved pretty quickly because he pushed um, Drake into the um, second spot. And Drake was doing real well, you know, for, for a week or two. Until until they drop and then the numbers started to drop and then everything changed. <laughs> Your boy did it. So, you know, that's a smooth move on him. And um, you know, salute to him on that. Yeah, that's what's going on with him. You know, he doing big things, still collecting money while down. That's what's up. That's a big move too. Salute to you. Okay. Now I wonder if y'all heard about this. Uh, it's another verse that's coming up. Um, KRS-One and Big Daddy Kane. Now, a lot of you youngins may not know what I'm talking about, but uh, but a lot of the people that's up up there in your 30s, you know, in your 30s going on 40, you know, I know older, but uh, I know y'all know. Um, what I'm talking about, and this could be major, but I would see, want to see, um, Big Daddy Kane go against somebody else. Um, KRS One. Hmm. Let me keep my opinion to myself on that one, but uh, KRS One is just not. It's a compatible. It's not compatible for this battle. It's going to be good. He's going to bring the energy. He's a hot dude. You know what I'm saying? Hyper. You know, very hyper. He's going to bring the energy. Um, you know, because Big Daddy can't. You know, he laid back smooth. So he's going to let him get all the... So I don't know. So I see KRS, KRS one trying to pull a JD kiss. You know, with the energy, with the freestyle and everything. Because that's what they said. They're going to implement the freestyle within it, too. It's going to be a little something different this time. So, you know, it's going to be something I want to see. So, yeah. Um, pretty much, that's pretty much it. You know? Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you who I would want to see Big Daddy Kane matched up with. Now, let me tell you this. Um, let me see. Um, I don't know what. Like, uh, Rakim. You know? Rakim would be a good one. Um, I will say LL, but see, LL got he had time to music. He got um, recent music, not that recent, 
but compared to Big Daddy Kane, yeah, he has more recent um, music. Uh, but those are my two picks. Uh, I have others, but I ain't thought about that. I probably do another video explaining some more of that when the verses probably a day before the verses drop. I might be doing something and explaining uh, a little bit more to detail on that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it today. Um, if I got some old news, you know, I'm going to hit you back. Um, it's been a little dry. <clears throat> I need y'all to check out my other work. You know, that's out there. You know, I have reviews and um, I may start, um, you know, going heavy with the sports too. I don't know. You know, just a different segment from my celeb news because this is just my celeb segment. But, uh, you know how it is, how I got it worked out. I got to keep it organized and together. But know this, this is the last word TV. And when I have some more news, it's going to be on it popping. Peace.